Hi, welcome to my tube. My name's Marge and I'm a I'm a little bit God. Take two. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my tube. My name's Marge. I'm a Hayoka. I'm an empath and I just like to do these little talks on <laughs> essentially pretty much how I feel about things. And that's kind of a collective com uh, collage of that I, that I get from all sorts of different places, you know. Mom doesn't like going out much these days, so <clears throat> I got plenty of time to research things and go down. I don't like rabbit hole as much as I like ant holes, so I, because there's different ways that you, there's all kinds. Rabbit holes, I don't know, a lot of them are just like one hole. <laughs> you go one way and that, that's it. But an ant hole, it has all kinds of nooks and crannies. Anyway, man, things are tense. Things are in tense. We are in tense times. The intensity. You know, I a lot of information I I provide is redundant. Most all info data re information is redundant. People always say the same thing over and over. Every now and again, they'll come up with word different words to this, say the same thing over and over. But yeah, it's pretty much redundant. And, and uh. And just stuff is just weird and it's hard and you know I think a lot of people have an idea of what the world was going to be when they got to a certain age and a lot of them are reaching that age and they're looking around and they're going what the fuck is this? What, the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is this you know what is this there's a lot of people with really good lives though there's a lot of people that are living the best version of their lives and I'm really happy for them but at, at the same time they don't need no help. They don't need no encouragement. They don't need no light because they they're already living it. So they already got it figured out. But there's a lot of people that haven't figured stuff out. And I, I'd like to help with that if I could. I'm an astrology bug. I'm big on astrology and astronomy. And everyone needs to know their chart, man. Know your chart. There's a reason why you're hurt. you hurt when you hurt. You are elated when you feel elated. So we're all so predictable and people think they're so not. Yeah, we got free will. We got free will to do what they want, you know? It was my understanding that uh, it was cool as listening to Joy just go, I freaking dig that kid, man. He is just a freaking cool kid. I don't even got to be mad because he's younger than me or, you know, I, and none of that stuff has to go with it. It's just that like, that kid is a freaking vessel and he gets to put things in a wor way that he's going to help. And any I call everybody kid. People older than me are kid. <laughs> uh, Kshanti Joysha, she he is doing a wonderful talk um, with all the 12 houses in the science with Dr. Darmish. I'm listening to part one about an hour in. And, and, Kate. and um, you know... We're pretty predictable. Yeah, we got free will, but we got the choice to move in a direction that's going to put us in better standing, or are we going to keep living the karma of self-deprecating prophecies, you know, manifesting ourselves in a low vibrational to just keep us there? No, I'm dreaming big. I'm dreaming big. It's talking about my friend who, who knows, that's talking to my buddy, who knows German. I was like, dude, I would that would be so fun if we went to Germany one day and you could freaking at least kind of, you know, it, it'd be more fun to go with you and then plus you could read stuff and at least help more than someone like me and I'm Hezig. Hezig! My last name derived from Hezig! H-E-Z-Z-I-G. <laughs> it's not that now, but I went down that road. Um, there's Everyone's sensitive and when people aren't, people that don't, aren't versed in dealing with their emotions and feeling their sensitivities, they're not, they're not coping real well right now. And I was talking a while ago, last year I did I did a little talk, I'm like, you know, I think it was in, um, I don't know, was, I can't remember which one, because I freaking, I shoot myself in the foot by naming these the way I do, and it's hard to remember, and I don't have any kind of journal, if I was... If I was really, if I had more Virgo in me like my brother, I would have it all indexed and libraried and post-its all over it and margins just right. I'm not a Virgo, so. <laughs> my stuff's squirreling all over. <laughs> but my words get out, you know. 
And technology is glitchy. Technology is so glitchy. Freaking Mercury's code retrograde. And I think it's because more people are starting to rec recognize Mer Mercury retrograde and what it represents. And because of that, the power and the mind source goes into it. So it makes what they are. Um, it's like makes it more potent because people are believing in it more. And I listened to a pretty cool talk this morning from a dude, uh, analysis by Ronald Berger of the July 2019 Mercury retrograde period. And it's 10 minutes and, and 55 minutes long and seconds rather, <laughs> excuse me. Hello, and, uh, Welcome whoop, boop, pause. I'll just put, put the link down below. And, uh, he, he explains it nice. He, you know, other people, so that's why it's just easier to recommend people because, uh, sometimes they just do a better job than you at stuff, you know? I know where my deficits are and it's okay to freaking tell people and if people want to use my character defects or my deficits against me, I'll just sit down with them and we can, <laughs> we can hash out how I know what's wrong with me if they're so well in depth and wanting to know what they think is wrong with me, you know? People are, people are funny. You know, I was talking about how I understood money that was put, was created to make the world a better place. And I and, and, and a lot of people, you know, things happened on their watch. Things are happening on their watch. Now we, you know, there is a period of time in this history that there, my natives, my, my ancestors lived here and were freaking doing their stuff and bebop. And, you know, other people had better ideas. And they took their control and their dominance, and, well, here we are. Uh, but because of that, there was a, there was a, there was a storyline of how Turtle Island, America, was supposed to be, had greed not taken over and interceded. Now, because that timeline wasn't allowed to happen, naturally because of control and greed and manipulation and all that lower vibrational stuff you know the planet and its harmonic resident and its Sherman shamanic with Sherman residents is raising in vibration and those low vibrational densities those lower feelings of, of, of control and manipulate all that stuff it can't live in higher vibration it doesn't it spins out it's like a centripetal force it it, 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 it it can't contain it can't live in the canister that is in a high vibration, so it spins out. That's why love always wins. <laughs> so, um, and, and people say things like, don't go down to their level. Don't go down to their low vibrational level. Don't, 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 don't swim in the shallow. No, strive better for yourself. Anyway, so because all that stuff happened, you know, there's karma got collected. Now, our country, for whatever reason or not, I'm a veteran, you know, whatever. I've got a college degree for it, whatever, you know. It gets me a discount here and there, whatever. I got a, I got my back is ruined, my body's broke, but whatever, and I got migraines. Um, I don't have migraines maybe three days a month, so <laughs> whatever, I'm a veteran. <laughs> Pasha. I yelled out the window, I screamed at midnight last night, STOP! With the fireworks, you know, whatever. Um, anyway, <laughs> so there's karma for that. Now, our country has been responsible for killing people all over this planet. Our bombs, there's a lot of blood under the weight of it. You know, and they can say you're justified, the country's justified. Yeah, there's an, there's an imposed threat, you know. Threat is imposed, you know. It's all a big chess game by rich, greedy old men, and they're all dying off. And now the people that are be left and left behind are all freaking so sensitive and shorted out from all the freaking grossness that they've had to been made to see. You know, people are only going to get more sensitive. So we need to make the world a place where all the sensitive can live and exist comfortably, not where they have to fucking hide out in their rooms all the time. You know. Or they can go out and live in their community amongst other sensitive people where they won't be insulted and berated and all that whatnot. So this karma that's coming around, the way I see it, I, this, I saw it started happening. I got a vision uh, 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 back in when Massachusetts, was it last year, a year and a half ago? It was, wasn't that long. It was, it was, and there was um, Maine 
there was gas line explosions. And I have stories from Omaha with the infrastructure failing, you know, from 15, 10 years ago. Seven, ten years ago. So, I mean, it's like these things are happening on these people's watch, right? Because when they keep taking taxes and they've raised all these taxes and what they were supposed to be doing with their taxes is maintaining the infrastructure as we're going along and as we see as towns are exploding and malls are exploding and and dorms are exploding because infrastructure is failing because all they, 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 they said we need all this money to fix your stuff and why they why we weren't paying attention they were just paying themselves more and more and more and now what's shown is the infrastructure in the whole nation I mean it's like there's gas explosions all over the place I remember when that happened in the restaurant downtown you know and the freaking waiter had enough sense to go gas 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 get everyone out Everyone out, those people that have enough sense to freaking react in a level-headed and rational way. And he saved many, many lives, that kid did, by just smelling the gas, turning off the, the stoves, and getting everybody. It was like lunch out, or is it the end of lunch rush, you know, and, and the ramifications of that. Because I, I worked in a building that was above it, so I saw it. You know, and this is when drones just first started. Now freaking they're everywhere. Now they're annoying, but... I'm like, you know, that would have been cool to get pictures of that. But anyway, so what's happening is is because of the karma that we've collected as I see it, the war will never, well, God willing, the war will never come to U.S. soil. But the reminders of what, what it's like to live in fear of explosions and earthquakes and floods, peril, that in, imminent doom feeling, we're getting that as a result from the karma of and giving it to others. So as a result, people are becoming more empathetic. Hearts are opening. How can your not heart not open when towns are burning down? Entire ones, you know. I mean, how can how can your hearts in in stay closed when you look around and the number of people that are in suffering, regardless of economic, social background, or whatnot, where they came from or what they're doing, is outnumbering the people that are happy. Yeah. So that is great imbalance, and it's coming back. And for that, I am grateful. I hope you have a rad evening. Peace.